Yeah. Uh, Jamaat is important. You can think that fear is what is crippling you and that it is wrong. You can read about it. You can talk about it. But what is going to give you courage? What is going to give you courage? When you meet a person who has courage. When he gives you courage. Evliya Allah, they are like that. Yeah, so many times, we have so many problems. It's all entangled up in our head. It's choking us. It's strangling us. We don't know where to turn. We have our share. We can't wait to see him. And when we see him, we want to say everything. But just being in his presence now, everything starts entangling. Disentangling. Everything else melts, melts away. Suddenly, you have all these problems, all these questions. They're not important anymore. You sit and you just feel strong, you feel safe. Answers come to you and you say, it doesn't matter. This is what a friend of Allah does. That kind of courage, that kind of faith. Because he looks to your heart and he sees it. Because he has gone through that. And he understands what it is that needs to be done. He doesn't even need to speak that time. He will look. And according to the strength of that share, he doesn't even need to look with his physical eyes. All he needs is for you to take one step. He will take ten steps. You understand? If you come to him running, maybe he will fly to you. So you need to be with those who have courage. This is what is called sunnat. When you have an imam, you have a guide, you have someone, a leader, and you're following him. And other people look at how you follow him, and they follow that method, that way too. And others who don't have access to that leader, they see those ones who follow them, and they continue, and they continue, and they continue, forming a continuous chain that is never broken until Judgment Day. So be with those ones who have courage. Be with the Rijalullah, be with the men of Allah. Watch them, observe them, study them. Don't spend your time studying Malayani nonsense things on sh TV shows and movies and taking them to be your role models and checking out things on the internet. Nonsense. Don't occupy your heart with all of that. If you're occupying your heart with that, it's very difficult now because your heart is busy, it's occupied with that. You have to empty it first now to let that kind of Courage, that kind of guide, that kind of light to enter. Whereas you have to clean it up a little bit. Then that time is easy. Otherwise, your will is great, but your heart is still rusty, still dirty, still busy. You can sit in the presence of a sheikh, but you're not taking that one step. You can sit in the presence of 40 prophets that time. It's not going to change you. Until... You open your heart. Ibn Jahil and Abu Lahab. They saw the Prophet physically. Almost all their lives. Saw him growing up. And the Prophet came and gave was to them. Gave dars to them. Some people they love to say dars. Give sohbet to them. Still they didn't change. Not once. Years. So many came to the presence of the Prophet. والسلام, with one word. Their heart melted. It opens, they become a Sahabi. So many just by looking, they became a Sahabi. So what is the difference now? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create us, some with a heart sealed and some with a heart open, some with so much light and some with so much darkness that never, no, that opportunity is given. Especially when there is a prophet who came and an awliya who comes, that means that everyone is a nominee. It's equal opportunity now. Equal opportunity? You can say that. Equal opportunity. So what is making some to not just take one step, they run to that light. And what made 
the others to not only shut their eyes, but they turn around and show their backs. It is that thing which is called ego. Ego. And this is what our share is concentrating. Mm. Not to be concentrating on fitna. Not to be concentrating on confusion. Not going to be concentrating on this one is high, this one is low. This one this station, this one is low station. This one is this and that. They have been busy with it. They will continue to be busy with it. They are not going to change. Because they have been busy chasing after these titles for decades. Has our Shah ever been trying to uh, chasing after these? He doesn't matter. He doesn't care. He didn't, it didn't matter to him what they call him. He says, it doesn't matter what you call me, a Shah or a donkey. I know my work. And with the work, you will see what is that person. With the work, you're going to see whether that one is a donkey or that one is a horse. It is not with a title, it's not with praising, it's not what millions of people are calling you. It is with the work. Yeah, alhamdulillah, how he has finished that work. And now his work is still continuing with us, all of us. And we have a big work ahead. And we don't care that time what people call us. Like our Shaykh, if people start cursing at us, we say, very good, now we're following the sunnah of our Shaykh. We're happy with that. We are honored with that. May Allah not test us. But we must be busy with our work, inshallah. So yes. And be with those ones who have courage. And they take that courage and that mm, fearlessness from the men of Allah who takes it from the Prophet ﷺ, that time is going to be something real. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahu Tawfiq. Al Fatiha.